We are a go! Mm, so good. And tonight, let's talk about Pasalubong. For those of you who don't know, Pasalubong is the concept of bringing things back from your travels abroad, or, or just travels in general. Let's say you go out of town, you bring something back, that thing that you bring back for your friends or family or whatever, that is what's called Pasalubong. And I wanted to share with you my Pasalubong haul, what I'm going to be giving out to my friends, family, etc., uh, from my recent trips. Now, some of this will have spoilers. So, Mom, if you're watching this, I mean, I can't really stop you from watching it, but stop watching. All right, so, uh, last time I did a video like this, uh, the people in the comments said that they didn't really care who the things were for, so I'm not even gonna say who this stuff's for to help me obfuscate who I'm giving stuff to, maybe avoid some spoilers, too. So, the first thing that I got, and this will actually be coming out in the vlogs as well, if it hasn't already, is I picked up this garlic. Now this garlic, uh, it's, it's, it's just a string of garlic. I didn't, I didn't understand, I didn't know that garlic came in these little rope things. Uh, I've never seen it this way, other than like maybe in vampire movies. So that's kind of cool. One of the main reasons I bought this was because the old lady who was selling it on the side of the road, she would so cute, such a cute little old lady. But I do have a friend who absolutely loves garlic because this is the Philippines and the people here love garlic. Next up, this. This is a uh, ma musang kopi. Right, um, let's see here. Um, I picked this up near Good Shepherd in Bagyao and um, so this uh, this coffee, what makes it special is that it's the the, the beans, which are really just seeds, uh, and that's true for all coffee. Coffee beans aren't beans, they're seeds. So the beans are picked from wild civet cat droppings. Although that might maybe make some of you go, Ear. Apparently worldwide it's pretty much agreed on that it makes for the best coffee. So yeah, uh, that, that's the story behind that, and I'm giving this to a person who absolutely loves coffee. All right, next up. So I picked up 12 of these little guys for uh, not a whole lot of money, and I'm not in I'm not entirely sure what they are, but they say Baguio City on them, and they, I don't know, they kind of look like pencils or something. Maybe, maybe well, there's, I don't know, but they're kind of cool. Ooh, while I was up north, I went and I saw the uh, windmills up there, and I picked up these little guys. Uh, I actually picked up two sets of five, uh, and so there's like, a little like the little windmill things actually spin and they've got magnets on the back so you can like stick them on the fridge you can put like little pieces of paper behind them you guys know how fridge magnets work i shouldn't have to tell you but it also says um i heart ilocos norte which means i love ilocos north Aha, cool so this is actually why i told my mom to stop watching the youtube video because my grandma used to have these things in her house and I haven't really seen them in the States anywhere. I'm sure you could probably get them. I just don't know where. Um, but these are little wicker things. And what you do is you put paper plates on them to make them a lot more rigid. It saves you money on paper plates and makes paper plates uh, or like, you know, the cardboard plates or whatever. A lot uh, better of an option, um, you know, for a lot of different things. So yeah, it's just, it gives you a nice little support. And then like there's like 10 or 12 here. There's a good number, I, I don't know how many, I don't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, so that's that's really kind of cool. Ah, all right. Okay, so I was talking about Good Shepherd earlier. I should probably show you some of the other stuff I got from there, huh? Actually, before I start, I should probably tell you what Good Shepherd is, for those of you who don't know. Uh, good Shepherd is uh, a place where you they, they make goods like what I'm about to show you, um, edible stuffs. They also help put children through school. They also operate a convent, so there are nuns. They've taken the concept of a bake sale to a whole different level. And um, the things that they sell are so good that they're known all over the Philippines. So with all that said, let's get into it. So there are a few different kinds of like uh, sweets, snacks, and cookies here. Everything is, uh, like it's got a safety seal on it, whole nine yards. So these are called lengua, and uh, they are milk cookies, and a um, little, little bit of trivia for you. Lengua translates to tongue in Spanish. Next up are some special butter cookies. Ah, oh, these are so good. Actually, oh yeah, you know what? I actually got two of these. Uh, <laughs> one for one friend, one for me. 
I don't know if you can tell, I really like peanut butter, and I, and I have a friend who likes peanut butter too. But these two are for me, my peanut butter, their peanut butter. My peanut butter, their peanut butter. The great thing about this peanut butter that I've found, and I got some of this the last time I was up in that area, um, is that there's no preservatives, no anything, and it actually, it, it separates, so it's all natural. Um, and you do have to mix it up, but the taste, oh my God, it's the best peanut butter I have ever put in my mouth. It's like the best. Have I told you yet that I really like this peanut butter and it's the best? Next up, these are called Choco Corn Flakes. These are from Good Shepherd. Um, and the, they're basically just corn flakes covered in chocolate and they are delicious. If you don't believe me, take a look at this container and then take a look at this container. I ate this container on the drive home. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of like it. It's really yummy. Next up, these are called Chocolate Crinkles. These are from Good Shepherd, and I absolutely love them. They're round cookies, um, and they, they're kind of, they, they're kind of cracked. I guess that's how they get the name Crinkles. Um, but they are so good. In fact, on, on the top, they say keep in a cool, dry place. Um, but I'm gonna keep these in a warm, wet place. That's my tummy. Ow. Last but certainly not least, the Peanut Brittle. Um, peanut brittle is something that uh, Good Shepherd is known for. Uh, I'm, I, I don't, I've never really done peanut brittle. Um, that's probably why I gravitate more towards the peanut butter. But uh, I figured this time I would give it a try because charity and I can give it to friends and share it with friends and all that stuff. So, so this next thing might seem kind of strange, but there was this, uh, this little old Lola on the side of the street and she was selling these and she was, she was just so sweet and I, I just had to buy them. They're just simple peanuts with salt and a little bit of uh, little bit of garlic in there. Next up we have something called sugar cane candy. This is uh, called balucha and it's, uh, they're, they're like in little swirls. Little, little swirls. Uh, and I haven't actually had these yet but they come highly recommended. So that'll be kind of fun, kind of cool. If you've ever tried these, let me know in the comment section down below. In fact, if you've ever tried any of this, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm just now coming to realize that most of this is food. Last but not least, I have uh, something I got my uh, roommate. It's a sculpture of some sort of snake. So you'll see here it says Vigan City, Philippines. And it's got like the, the snake head there. And then it's, it's also an ashtray because my roommate sucks. Cool. So that's everything that I have uh, for this leg of my trip. Let me know in the comment section down below uh, what uh, you think about any of this. Also, if you've ever brought anything super cool and interesting back for Pasalubong uh, for your friends and or family. Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make me love my job. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye. Thank you so much for joining me on today's story on my Quento. Be sure to check out one or more of the things on screen now that'll lead you to even more stuff, cause it's awesome. Alright, next vlog?